guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be testing out another hair straightening tool where I got sucked into an Instagram ad and I bought this one. Ta-da! This is how it looks like. Now, if you have seen that ad, great. And if you haven't, I will insert a video of the ad over here. You guys can see even if you have like super curly hair, frizzy hair, wavy hair, it gives this beautiful, sleek, shiny, straight hair. So that kind of intrigued me and I went on Amazon, I searched for it, there were so many other brands and uh, I picked one up. I will insert the link of the product down below in the description box, FYI. So in this video, I am going to be testing out with a hair straightener, which I got a couple of months back and that is by the brand Nova, which is quite popular and this is basically like a backup of my other hair straightener which is my trusty good old babyless hair straightener which I have been using for like about three to four years so I got it like a backup but it's in a similar price range that's the reason why in this video I'm going to be testing this one and this one to see which one gives the best result and just for reference my hair is very fine thin hair it's kind of in between straight and wavy so yeah we're gonna test both the products I'll show you guys how it goes throughout the day as well now if you have not already then do not forget hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload and now let's jump right in the video now coming to the features it says that it has an anti-static ionic hair straightener brush with ceramic even heat technology and negative ion generator to make your hair smooth and shiny help you create frizz free straight hair keeps hair shiny and healthy so it has a double layer anti scalding design which is a 3d type of a comb which protects your hair and hands if 20 minutes not in use hair straightener will automatically turn off and keep you and your dresser safe providing you the most fire hazard free experience now it does have a ptc technology hair straightener which is a five different temperature modes 130 degrees celsius to 200 degrees celsius input voltage is 220 voltage rate frequency blah 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 okay so yeah it came in this box but i think they gave an instruction manual i do not have it with me because i bought it like a month or two back only now i'm going to use it but yeah and the only reason why i picked this up was because they offer the color red now overall they do offer four shades uh, or four colors why did i just say shades but yeah four colors and uh, it is from the brand called zemic store so yeah, I will mention the link down below on the description box. You can check it out if you want. So these are priced at 629 rupees. Oh, and the red that they have shown in the picture is not exactly red. It's more like a coral red. So thought us are disappointed. Okay, so I just plugged it on and you guys can see there's a light that's blinking. And once I click on the switch on button is where all the lights kind of blink. And that is the temperature control. So you can increase it or you can reduce it. This is the lowest temperature and this is the highest temperature. Okay, so my hair is damp right now. I'm going to blow dry to completely dry. And uh, this is the serum that I'm going to use, which I have been using for the last, I think, four to five years. I'm on my second bottle right now, which is almost getting over. So yeah, I'll quickly fast forward the blow drying part. And in the meantime, I'm going to set up the straightener as well as the straightening brush and let it sort of heat up. Okay, so my hair is dry right now. I'm just going to quickly partition and section my hair into four. So yeah, this one seems to be ready. All the lights are lit up and it is in the highest temperature. So should I touch it? I'm scared. Hmm. Oh, it's warm, but it's not like hot hot you know so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this hair straightening brush on this side and the other normal straightener on this side start off with this thin section first okay not bad Not that bad. 
for example so this is how my hair looks after just blow drying it and this is how it looks after using that straightener it is given a nice decent shine i actually like that so yeah so now i'm going to use the nova hair straightener i it is in the again the highest temperature which is 220 degrees and uh, it seems to be ready <music> Okay, so as you guys can see, this side is more straight and sleeker because it's a normal straightening iron. Wherein this side also, it has given a nice shine. At the same time, it doesn't look like straight straight, but it's more like that blow dried straighten kind of effect, you know? So I'm gonna do the rest of my hair as well. So this is what happens with my fine thin hair. Any hair clip or hair band or anything that I put, it immediately shows up as an impression, which I don't like. So let's straighten that out. So let's finish up the bangs. The time right now is close to 2.45 p.m. And uh, yeah, this is how my hair looks on both the sides. For a first impression, it has given a very nice shine. And like I mentioned before, I have not used any conditioner. It is just a shampoo on my hair and it still has given a very nice, decent shine. There is less of frizz, if I'm not wrong. And uh, yeah, compared to the straightening side, it is not that bad, actually. What do you guys think? And I'm not going to switch off this straightening brush because I want to see if the light actually switches off or the power goes off because it has been close to 20 minutes. I did not time myself, but I think it's close to 20 minutes or more than 20 minutes. I don't know. So yeah, I'm just going to keep it on to see if it goes off on its own automatically as claimed. I quickly change my outfit and I'll be back because then you can properly see the ends of my hair. Okay, so I've changed my top. Hopefully you guys can see how everything looks like. So this is the straightening brush side and uh, yeah, it looks pretty shiny. It's nice. It is very soft. It's good. <laughs> and this side is the normal hair straightener, which has done a decent job as it should. And uh, yeah, so this is how both the sides look like. Okay, so right now I'm going to just go through my day and I will come back after some time just to show you guys how it looks because the biggest difference is when I go out in the humidity. So right now in the AC room, it looks perfect. It's fine. It's nice. But then once I step out, it's quite humid. Even though it's cloudy, it's going to rain sort of a thing, but it is still humid in Chennai as always so yeah I'll be back in some time just to show you guys how it looks and then go over with the pros and cons quickly with you guys so I do have quite a bit of work to do so I have just quickly pinned my bangs out of my face so the rest of the hair is as it is I'm not going to touch it so I will see you guys in a couple of hours or seconds for you guys hey guys i'm back and the time right now is about 5 6 pm so it is a little over two hours since i last checked in and this is how the straightening brush side looks like and this is how the straightening iron side looks like i'll quickly take off these clips <music> okay so this side looks kind of fine it is still the same and not that different still nice and shiny and the same is for this side as well nice and shiny but the only thing is it's kind of come back to the way how it naturally kind of sets for my hair so my hair in general because of the haircut and everything it sets like this you know it looks like the birds feather the birds thing i don't know what do you call that I forgot but it looks like the birds feather sort of a thing so it sort of has come off like that in certain parts wherein this side it is kind of okay it has but it's not as evident as this side you guys see this this is what I'm talking about so 
yeah i hope this makes sense but yeah so it has become super cloudy it is gonna rain it was already drizzling right now so i'm gonna quickly wrap up the video with my thoughts okay so let's quickly talk about the pros and the cons for the straightening brush now firstly it gives a nice shine to the hair it makes it look nice and healthy which i kind of like and it also gives this nice blow dry sort of an effect you know when you go to a parlor and have a blow dry that is how it kind of looks initially so put a pin to it i'll come back to this point now for this brush to work you have to take like a medium section of hair it not be too less because it will slip from that side ridges on the brush or else if you take too much it will not be enough to straighten the hair or give that exact effect that you're looking for so you have to take a proper medium sort of a section of hair the last three things that I love the most about this tool is that this portion of it, even if it touches your scalp, by the way, it is switched off, so it is fine. So even if it touches the scalp, your hands or anywhere on your skin, it will not burn you or it will not be that super hot or anything. It's kind of lukewarm when you touch it. So yeah, that is a good thing. And the second thing is that I love the design of it where this portion of it is like on the table and it lays exactly flat. So I like that about it, if that makes sense, I don't know why, but I kind of like that, it's like flat, you know? And the last point is that I love the fact that it has different settings, like the heat settings for you to choose off of. Oh, and just a quick FYI is that you can find this hair straightening brush for a bit cheaper because the one that I got, because they have four color options like red, black, white and green, it is a little bit overpriced compared to the others that I have seen online, which is like 300, it's, it's less than 350 or 400 rupees. So if you stick to the green color one, you can get it for cheaper. But if you're looking for something colorful, then it's a little bit pricier. So yeah, FYI. And now for the cons, the first con is the fact that this tool does not switch off automatically in 20 minutes as claimed because it does switch off, but it does take about an hour, hour and a half for it to completely or automatically switch off. So yeah, that is the first con for me. Second con is that the wire is a little bit short. So each time I was using it, it was kind of like pulling the tool, the whole thing where I have plugged in. So it was kind of like pulling it compared to the hair straightener, which I also have it plugged in at the same point, but that did not pull or anything. So I realized that it's a little bit thoda sa short. For the third con is that it gives that blow dry, you know, when you use a round brush and blow dry your hair like you see in the parlor, that is the sort of effect it gives uh, rather than that super sleek, shiny hair as it's shown on the video. So I feel that's kind of misleading and it does not give that sort of a hair because my hair itself is very fine and thin and it usually straightens pretty quickly, gives good shine and everything. But even for my hair, it did not. So yeah. That's another con. The last con is that I kind of doubt this will work on super curly hair or curly hair in general because I have seen the video and uh, they had used that in like super curly, thin curls kind of hair and it looks sleek and straight which I highly doubt will be done using this particular tool maybe the original one because i know this is like a knockoff of the original one so that maybe but this one it does not oh another con is that this will take a while for you to do it because even for my fine thin hair it took quite some time but then if you have like thick hair it will take way longer and if you have like wavy thick hair or curly hair it is going to take much much more longer so yeah that is that it's going to take long so overall, in my personal opinion, if you have like fine, thin hair and if you're looking for something to straighten your hair with not too much of heat, this will be a good tool for you. But then if you have like a thick hair, wavy hair or curly hair, I don't think this will be useful. You could rather stick to a straightener or if you have curly hair, just curl your hair. It looks beautiful. I love curly hair. My best friend has curly hair. I could be wrong on this because I don't have that but I feel from the way how it straightened my hair and how long it took I feel it may not work out but I could be wrong. So so I would suggest using like a normal straightening tool but make sure you use a proper heat protectant and make sure you do your hair treatment or masks on a weekly basis. So take care of your hair if you're going to use like hot tools like these because it could be more damaging in the long run so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the hyped up viral hair straightening brush and this wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it and if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and it for you as well as follow me on my socials which is on instagram and on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye